What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Imperator Rome. Now, last I left, I finished off uh, this country that literally was in this little area here. I literally, literally doubled the size of Rome. I like ended at this border now. I almost stretched all the way, well I stretched all the way down to Luciania. Lusania? Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna massacre a lot of these names, but it's fine. Alright, unused trade route and capital. So, my overall goal for this video here is to kind of set the stage for the next kind of campaign. And I already fought a campaign to the south. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to fight a campaign toward the north. Now, these guys right here, uh, these Sabinians, Right, I already fought a war with them. Uh, it was kind of like before the game started. It said that, you know, like, Realm just finished a war with these guys. So we were kind of, like, cool for a little bit. But now, when I was fighting a war with them, they kind of broke this pact that I had. This uh, a, a defensive pact, defensive league that we signed uh, up together. And they were, like, tempted. There were, like, hints that they were going to cross the border and come at me. And I had my entire army down here. So that really pissed me off. That took me to a whole nother level. So I need to eliminate them because yeah, they're on my they're on my hit list right now. And I don't like this guy's smirk right here. So we're gonna take care of him. We're gonna take care of him. Really, really nice. Alright, so <laughs> the sentence behind it, so that's all I need. So what I'm gonna do is I have nine thousand men there. I have Where's my main army? Ah, 17,000 here. So I'm gonna move these guys up north. And I think this is mine, right? It's impassable terrain though. This is passable. So I'm worried that they might come around my flank and take out this city and I don't want Rome to be affected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send, send Legion number two over there. And And I'm gonna send these mercenaries. I know I wanted to get rid of them, uh, and I was planning to in the last video, but I'm gonna hold off on it just a little bit because I'm, I'm definitely gonna go at these guys. And you know, the, the interesting thing about it is I was considering folding them into the army. We talked about this in the last video because this is something, this, I, I from, as far as I know, this is new for Imperator. I haven't seen this in previous games like EU4 or Crusader Kings. You could recruit these mercenaries into your army. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, put it in the comments, whatever, uh, but I don't recall seeing this in previous games. So this is new, it's really cool, I like it. So I'm gonna send these guys north and they're gonna be, uh, no offense, they're gonna be can cannon fodder. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I definitely I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I got two trade routes, I don't know what I'm gonna do right at this point with that. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I just wanna make sure nobody else is... Like, this power, I guess... I mean, they're big enough that they could probably threaten me. And then these guys here... Oh! This guy's been hard at work doing this stuff, man. This is the second kid he had. Two kids. Oh, look at this. I got three requests. Uh, import olives. I'm gonna gain 56. I need money right now, so why not? I make a lot of wine. Why not? And I make... What do you need? Wine. Yeah, I'll, I'll do all that. Nice. I like you guys. Alright, so, we are all geared up for war. You're not connected, okay. So, I guess the way I'm gonna work it is... I'm gonna have this guy go up here. This guy with his 12,000 men are gonna engage these 4,000. You're gonna stand tight. What I wanna do here is have this army go here, do a siege. This army is gonna be a cannon fodder, so they're gonna hit here, 
smash into this army of 4,000. What I'm assuming is going to happen is this army led by Olui... I'm not even going to even try. <laughs> Horton. I'm going to call him Horton. This army led by Horton is going to move west, I'm hoping, and to try to engage this army. Now, a lot of his men are going to bite the bullets uh, and lose a lot, but I'm hoping it'll be a victory. I'll eliminate their armies, then move this guy in from the flank, and even if he loses, you know, these armies will be in you know in tatters basically and then i have an army to his rear and an army to his front and if i combine them together i'll have the advantage of multiple fronts so that's going to be good and i'm going to do that right now because i do not want to lose money i think I'm doing pretty well actually with cash uh and i can declare war i wonder if i could take it all Which one's Eutria? I guess it's the whole province. Alright, either way, I'm just gonna take this one. I'll add the war goal, uh, another war goal after that. But, uh, so we're gonna declare war. I wanna make sure everything is good. My armies are in where they need to be. Everything looks good. Just double check everything before I hit the main button. Cause once you go to war, you know, you can't come out of it. You know, it's, it's one of those oopsies if you're not ready, you know what I'm saying? All right, everything looks good. I really wanna get uh, a tradition ready because these definitely help out my army. So, let's rock and roll. Oh, my bad. Oh, boys. All right. See? Come on. How long is it going to take you? Wait a minute. Wait, I can't go into this. What the? That's weird. Hold on. I wonder why I can't go into this province here. You can go in there, right? Ah, uh, crap me. Alright, I guess we'll go around the long way. Just can't believe Can I go around this way? Apparently I can't go into this province, which is really weird. I wonder why. Maybe there's some kind of terrain. I don't think it's a bug, but... Damn, everybody wants Italian wine, right? I can't blame them. These are the guys that are trying to hook me up, right? Yeah, you guys... You guys are nice guys. They got 9,000 men now. Doing a siege there. He's moving some forces. I got these men heading north. that number a little bit. Ah, uh, look at this. Look at these nice guys. They're defending my border for me. Okay. Nice guy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we actually won. Hold on. That's pretty good. We lost 3,600 men. We lost a lot more than they did. I'm gonna wait till that thousand man army comes in. Good. Ooh. I love getting these uh, prisoners here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. I can't come. What the heck's going on? Why can't I come here from this side? That's weird. 
Maybe it's a mercenaries can't go that way? No. Both armies can't go that way. I wonder why. What's so special about this? Is it because it's not a war goal? It's the only thing I could think of. That's really weird. Well, if they can't, if I can't go there, I'm assuming they can't come here. If they could, that's gonna just not be good at all. All right, so negative 14, negative 28. Sweet, I can't go here. Oh, I got a new invention. Oh no, I could afford a new invention. All right, national tribesman outputs, aggressive protection. Technology speed. I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah, baby. Alright. Uh, I'll. We would. As we're not come currently exporting, we would gain the following bonus. Let me check my economy. I feel like I'm doing a lot of stuff with trade. I'm exporting a lot of stuff. I just don't wanna this. I'm exporting a lot of wine. A lot of wine. Uh, exporting olives. Then this would export. Oh, I would be. Okay. So I would add another one. That's more money for me, right? Why not? Son of a gun, man. So he can go south. I just can't come at him? Oh, I wonder what the heck's going on. And it doesn't tell me why I can't go that way. But he can come down this way, which is really weird. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I have to go a long way around. I don't understand why I can't just... In zone of control of some country called... No. But it doesn't say anything else. Supply limit 17. Supply limit 27. Supply limit 19. So I don't understand. It's not the supply limit. Uh, it says ID 23. ID 105. I wonder why. What's so special about this little thing that I can't go inside? Maybe if I divide an army up, maybe it's just the amount of troops that I can send in there? I doubt it's that. I don't know. That's really weird. He's gonna have 7,800 men. Dang it. That's not cool. This just drives me nuts. Like, I can't go there. He can come at me, but I can't go there. It's just really weird. Oh, look at this. I like this guy. Oh, no, not him. This guy. <laughs> My, who are you? You're from my neighbors from the south, I think? I'm gonna give him some money, man. Is he, is he loyal? Because it says it inspired his loyalty. So let's see how loyal this guy is. Prominence. Uh, loyalty, 96. Nice guy, nice guy. I'm gonna make friends with this guy. Help me out there. Alright, uh, envoys requesting import iron. Making us lose the following bonus. I don't want to lose that heavy discipline. Sorry. It's going to drive me nuts. I'm telling that I can't go there. Ooh. 
okay. Banished from his own land, he seeks alms and spreads vicious rumors of debauchery and corruption about the courts and... I don't know where that country is. Uh... Wait, wait, so I only have two... So this guy is trying to, like, side with me, it looks like. This wrench has abused our hospi hospitality too long. And then this is beneath us. Of Patius Achilius. So, of the court of Patius. What the heck is Patius? Let's actually use this thing here. P-O-T... IT, I'm not gonna be able to find that, so I don't know where the heck that is. Is that a land? I think he's trying to like seek a refuge for some time. He's a nice guy. I'm gonna get some tyranny out of it though. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Where's that army? That's them, right? No. There's so many flags, man, I'll tell you. Oh, I think that army got slaughtered. I think they, like, fell apart. I don't see them anywhere on the map. Yep, I think they got booted. friends to give this perhaps to the oldest and simplest in the world of politics. Oh man, you want more money? This guy's like really asking for it, man. Oh! Did you notice how that just all turned red? Okay, I was gonna say for a second, I'm like, wait, how the heck did I all turn red? So if I search for peace. Okay. How much do I need? An equilium. Let me guess. No, that's not an equilium. Which one is an equilium? This guy. Alright, cool. So, me to end this war, I gotta gain this province here. It's such a small country, it's not even worth going after him. Yeah, why not? Put me in the positive. Ooh, a new ruler! Morale of the armies tend to military factions in control. They're the big dogs on the block now. See? What happened to my family, man? Or Wait. No, no, this is different. What happened to my guy? There's this guy. What, what are you up to now? <laughs> a teen governess while well, having a... Oh, man, he's he's not going to be... <laughs> uh, this is actually pretty cool. i got to admit this, guys. This is actually pretty cool. So my guy has been, I guess, voted out of office. And his job, he's trying to attain a, governance, a governorship. new guy on the block he's content in life because he's high up on that scale there interesting I really need to end this war soon who are you I think I have some relations with you right? yeah you gave me some stuff nice all right 274 days. I got that one. That's interesting. Okay. So now I can go into that territory. Let's check this out. Let's... I have to go all the way around. That's weird. So, it's odd that I can't go here. I would have to go all the way around to attack them. Is there something here? Is there like a big-ass wall? I don't know. There's something weird, though. And my guys here can go after them, but I don't want to send an entire army of good guys. No. 
Come on. Shift, shift, there we go. Trade places. I'm not really, oh, imminent battle. I'm not really worried because I got so many allies here. The allies actually have more men than me. Look at this. 18,000 by themselves. I got 9,000 here. What is this hand doing here? Loyal. Ooh, check this out. Not the battle. But check this out. Oh, oh, stop it. Check this out. Loyal to Luci Lucius Scor Scorpio. I'm going to call him Scorpio. So he's loyal to this. So I guess if I fire this guy from his generalship, do they leave? Oh, they're all loyal to him. Interesting. What about you guys? You're all loyal to him too. Interesting. So it looks like the wow, and they're all loyal to this guy. Forget about it. <laughs> That's really interesting. Beautiful. I gotta disband these uh, guys quick. Draining my treasury. Nice. My allies lost forty-seven hundred men. Knock me out. Piss me off, dude. I'm trying to be nice guys to one another. What are you trying to do? Like, it looks like they're all trying to, like, piss me off. I don't know why. Alright, so I got this. Everything looks good. No open diplomacy. Sue for peace. I want both. You think they're gonna take it? Where can I check? Uh, oh, there we go. This part. Ah, uh, nice. And laid waste their lands. I sacked their capital. Many important prisoners were taken. Many of them had previously held positions. Um, you know what? They pissed me off. Let the rest disappear. What, what does that mean? I mean, banish those of class and put the rest to a sword. Interesting. Are these her? I'm just thinking. Nice. Cool. You know, normally I would uh, kind of like, with the fa you know the high level families, I would have been like, you know. I'm the aggressor in this war, but they pissed me off in the last conflict, so... Ooh, check this out. I didn't even pick up on this. 37.1%. This guy, his loyalty is really low. Who are you, and what do you do? Become... Oh, you're trying to become... I should imprison this guy. I only have 25... So let's check this out. His popularity, where it's at. His promise is 45. Popularity is 31. Let's smear his reputation. I don't like you. There you go. Causing trouble for me. All right, I have to get rid of these mercs. Disband unit. I'll have to pay them $81. I don't want to hide, I don't want to bring him into the main army because I can't afford them, honestly. And I, can, I can honestly do it with 18,000 I have right now, so sorry. You guys served out, you're welcome. My tyranny is really high, I need to get that down. 
All right, let's take a look here. Uh, invention, I want technology speed. Tools. Uh, ooh, so I can hire a sensor. What does a sensor do for me? Uh, responsibility over the senses, public morality, clearing blockages in the ports. I definitely want somebody that's loyal to me. 99, 100. Um, charisma. I'm assuming the higher the charisma, the better for me. I'm assuming 9. So 10 is the max. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go for this 47 year old guy. Has the experience, has the age, really good loyalty. Uh, popularity is not the best though. 11. Oh, check this out. Oh, I thought that was General Flavius. What's your problem in life, man? 47%. You don't like me? You don't like me? Whoa. What the heck is giving you free hands? I wonder what that does. You know, I notice every time I go to a different character, there's much, there's more and more uh, actions that I can take. So, like, give free hands is a new one. Grand stipends, that's another one. Uh, proscribe. Uh, so, there's more and more. I, I, there's so much stuff that you can do. And, you know, I, I really like this here because I can, um, like, these are upcoming enemies. This is kind of like, you know, I really love that Paradox has gotten into, gotten the essence of what the politics were in Rome back in the days. Because, you know, I took, I took history and we dived into Rome and there was so much subterfuge and there was so much, um, you know, back and uh, backstabbing and just... Uh, basically power hungry individuals that usurp the republic and you can see it here like everyone has their own little agenda and they're trying to knock me out and loyalty is a big thing so ooh, i am in the deficits all right that's not good all right uh so i'm probably gonna end the video here i know it's a quick one I just wanted to do a quick war, uh, and it's a little late, so I'm, I'm probably going to do another video tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so the big things from this one, I took another country. I think what I'm going to do next is, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm growing in size here. I'm ready from here all the way to here, and there's a lot to conquer. And, you know, I want to become a major power, and right now I'm a regional power. I'm barely a regional power. Like... You could pick me out on the map now before you couldn't. But look at this. Compare me to them, to the Morians. And forget about it, these guys. These guys have... The, the Mongols have an empire that... I'm assuming stretches. Uh, I don't know what year they stop, um, they come to being. But I know it's soon or... Maybe it's current. Maybe they're, these are puppet states of uh, Mongolia, of the Khans. I'll have to take a look at that. Definitely looks Greek. Yeah, he, he does not. That guy looks Greek. Kind of looks like Alexander a little bit. So, maybe not. Maybe the Mongols. I have to actually go through, uh, do some research on that and see where the Mongols are right now. Um, so, overall, I think my next thing that I'm going to look at is probably the South. Kind of, I'm kind of like going back and forth, north, south, north, south. But I do want to kind of expand the empire, of course, because if you're not expanding, you're dying in essence, you're contracting. So um, these countries right here, this guy and I think this guy kind of pissed me off. They got rid of the agreements that we had and I really didn't do anything to deserve that. So I'm gonna start looking toward the south. Uh, Lucania and Apulia. They're good. I'm not going to have any problems with them. I'm going to do diplomacy, trying to be a nice guy to them. Uh, and then these two guys are on my pissed off list. So I'm going to eye them. Now, I'm probably strong enough now to hit the big dog on the block, which is Carthage. Now, some of you guys might be saying, you got to watch out for this. You gotta think you're way too young. You got to develop your military, your navy. True. I feel that I do have to develop these key aspects. I have 18,000 troops, four ships, but I don't think Carthage presents that much of a challenge. 
you know, and maybe I'm kind of, what's the word, um, overconfident because I took the I took this country in a matter of I, I guess like really quickly, and I took this country overnight, the, the one that I just I just conquered. Maybe I'm a little overconfident, but I want a challenge, right? I'm eager for a challenge. And uh, I want to see what Carthage can bring. You know, if they can offer a challenge, I'm not going to do them right away. I'm going to start picking out some of these other enemies. Uh, I have no problems with this guy, and I guess these two other guys, they're cool. I have no problems with them. Uh, but definitely him and him are on my list. So um, I'm also going to look more into the economy system. Um, figure out what I'm gonna, what I can import, what I should be importing, what my people need. I'm gonna start looking at that because I need to know what my people desire before they start like getting pissed off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, that does it for this one. I will catch you in the next one. I'll see you then.